Whoa! What on earth is that? And when you smile, the world is brighter. You touch my girl, and I'm a king. Your minch to me is worth a fortune. Your booty to me is everything. I guess I'll never know the reason why you write me like you do. That's the wonder, the wonder of you. Yo, yo, yo. How is everybody doing? You know who it is. I've had a little bit of a break. I've done a couple of live streams, but yeah, not much else. But I'm here. And I'll tell you a little backstory of why I'm doing this today. So I had a message from RetroKit saying, look, I'm at doorway at uh, 12.30 or 12.30ish on Saturday, if you're around. I thought if I can make it, I'll make it, you know. So anyway, turned up with a little ones. We got there slightly before him. Um, yeah, who walked in? Gebs. So we're talking to Debs. All good. Couple of minutes later, sees John Retro Kit walk through the door with his wife. I was like, whoa! And yeah, absolute cracking people. Like, really, really nice. Yeah, my little one were having fun. He was running round. I couldn't really look round that much. He was absolutely everywhere. He was doing press ups. He was doing this. He wouldn't leave John alone. And I mean, he wouldn't leave John alone. John, John, come and check this out. But there was more than Retro Kit there. He'd met up with David. Retro games played badly. Dave. And he's not from that far. So it was really good to see him. He didn't turn up in his daisy jokes. But he turned up. Um, yeah. There was Retro Bear there as well. All these are cracking guys. Yeah. Had a good time. There was a couple more there. I know who they are. It's straight after. I'm still a bit buzzing. So I can't actually remember. Off the top of my head without looking stupid on camera because I've just stood there for about two minutes thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. But, because I only knew John was going there, I brought him a Game Boy game, um, a box one. So, I didn't know anybody else was turning up because I would have turned up with more gifts for them. I didn't know. But, like I say, we had a good time. Excellent. And I heard him say he's got some PS1 games and something else in the boat if anybody wants to take a look. I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm good, you know. So anyways, we're leaving, we're parked. Near John was parked. He's like, look, give these to the little one. And little one wouldn't leave him alone, you know. So, yeah, um, he gives us a bag of PS1 games and a big bag of PS2 demos. So do you know what? It gave me an idea. I'm thinking, look, I'm going to start off a collection um, for Spencer. You know, we can start now, nothing expensive. I'll just keep adding to it, adding to it. And I'll see how big I can get his sort of collection without going mental. Yeah. So, Spencer. What? Come here, pal. Right, what do you want to say to John? Thank you, John, for giving them games. Yeah, is he a mate? Yeah. Yes, give a fist pump. Yeah. Boof! I mate. Yeah, he wanted to say that to John. He absolutely loves you. So I'll show you a few games that he actually gave. So in this big bag board, all sorts. I've gone through the ones that are, um, you know, all right. So he's got... King of Bowling 2, I'll take him sticker off that one, we've got Driver, Mini Driver, ooh, I wish it was, let's get ready to rumble, let's get ready to rumble, get ready, get steady, yeah, ready to rumble boxing, I thought that were alright back in the day, uh, I think he handed it for Dreamcast, and yeah, I used to like that, and we've got V Rally, which is that one. 
Championship Edition. Ooh, Championship. Now we are talking. We've got Driver 2. Yes. He's going to absolutely love this one. World Championship Snooker. <laughs> Gauntlet Legends. Yeah. You don't mess around. Most of these have got like, I think near enough everyone have got like silicon bags in. Uh, manuals and disc. I think there was maybe a couple without instructions, maybe. You know? But, yeah. I'll see how big I can get this collection for a little one. So he might have his own little collection, sort of like part in my games room. So that's pretty cool, because it goes with me most places anyway. We've got 4x4 World Trophy. See, a lot of these games as well, he'll like now. But there's a lot where he'll get a couple of years older, he'll like them again, you know? So we've got Sabrina. The Teenage Witch, a twitch in time. Oh dear! Is it true? It's true. Dreams can come true. Look at me, babe, I girth you. You know you got to have it. You know my girth is long. Ooh, bit of Gabrielle. So we've got Who Wants a Million Hairs on Their Balls? I don't know. This guy does, apparently. I'm not even sure. <laughs> now we've got Tekken. Now... He's definitely going to like that. 100%. Theme Park World. Mm. World might be a bit too big. Why not? It's not like Theme Park. World. Oh, how big is that game? I don't even know. Now, ooh, these girls have grown up. I'm not exactly sure what they look like anymore. They're decent looking. Of a scrawny, of a crackheads. I don't even know. But we've got Mary Kate and Ashley. What's it called? Crush. Crush Course. C word! Crush Course. Damn, dude. That is absolutely mental. Tony Hawk's skateboarding. He likes that already. He definitely does. We've got Victory Boxing. Ooh. Victory Boxing, that's what I'm talking about. Now, speaking of uh, Victory Boxing, so for Ricky Hatton against Barrera. Barrera didn't even look like he'd trained for the fight. Do you know what was going on? Ricky Hatton looked absolutely ripped to death. He looked like he put the work in. So Ricky Hatton, big up. We've got FIFA 2000. There's a kid who's going to like him. WWF Attitude. Ooh, like Brenda gives me on a Friday night. Whew, I hope it's not that kind of attitude. You know, she's like, look, you will lick this. And I'm like, who are you talking to? And she's like, you go to fucking get down here. You know, that's attitude. So we've got Smackdown 2. Ooh, is that China? Like fine china. Oh yes. There's a few here that I can grab that I know he's definitely gonna like. Yes. M&M's shell shocked. Shell shocked. Every time I hear shell shocked, I think about Turtles game. You know? Yeah, I cared. FIFA 2001. Grand Theft Auto. I know he's going to like this. He likes Grand Theft Auto, you know, games where you can roam free and going around. A bit of violence in it as well. It sells it. We've got Scooby Scooby Doo, where are you? I've got massive balls. <coughs> yeah, Scooby Doo. Cyber Chase. Who knows? So, yeah, I'm there chatting away. Camera turned off. Full storage. It's because of all these videos for Girth Social Club, so I've had to delete a few things, come back, let's start again. Not much to go. 
we've got WWF Smackdown. Smack your ass all over town, so boof. Smackdown, Smackdown, you're my Smackdown. LMA manager, 2001. Yeah, when his reading gets up there, you might appreciate that. Now, there was another game, which was a duplicate. So he's got one game as a trade. And that is, who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants a million hairs on their plums? So, yeah. I do think he will have fun with that one. Obviously, once his reading gets a bit better. I've got two games that I can give him to put towards them. Uh, they come in a mystery box that I got from Doorway. And that is Formula 1 99. And Cool Border 3. So, yeah. That takes his total up to about 26 games, I think. So, that's really good. Like I say, I might get him a shelf up here. Start collecting them. By the time he's older... He should have a really, really good collection. And you never know. If he gets into them, like, big style, he might actually start buying them himself when he's older. You know? For spending money. So, yeah. Everybody, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay sexy. John, you're a legend. Everybody who I met, stunners. Peace!